They just do what they always do. Why is he yeah, putting Leo Komarov on the first line? Like, Welcome to the Rock. As you guys all know, Alex Ovechkin signed his five-year extension with Washington. Um, and I saw a quote recently. He said one of the reasons why he, he signed for five years was because he wants to try to break Wayne Gretzky's goal record. So um, now that he's officially signed for five more years, I just wanted to talk about that. Um, he has 730 goals. Um, the number he's got to get to is 894, which would tie Gretzky. So that's 130 goals. Uh, over those five years, if you divide the 130 by five, Ovechkin needs to average 32 goals over those five years. Now, we're talking about a guy who's, you know, scored 50 fairly consistently. Uh, obviously, he's getting older, so that's going to not really happen. Um, however, this is, I, I would say in our lifetime, this is probably the closest we're going to come to of seeing a guy get this close to Gretzky and it's going to be exciting because um, whether he does it or not, honestly, I don't know, but over these next five years, um, you, you gotta, you gotta assume or believe that he's at least going to get close. Um, the question is how close he get? Can he hit the 32 for five years and, and break the record? It really depends if he stays healthy. I mean, he stayed healthy his whole career as John referenced earlier in the show. If he can remain to stay healthy and and be a threat with his shot on the power play, because then he's you would assume, unless he's a total freak of nature, he's going to slow down as he ages here. He's, what, 35 going on 36 years old. So um, depending on how good father time is to him, if, if, he, if he ages gracefully here, he realistically might do it. I mean, who knows? Let, let's just say – let's just say this year – he, you know, he turns back the clock and he scores 50 goals, which isn't, you know, which isn't a huge stretch based on what he's done the last two years. If he were to score 50 goals this year, that that gives him a real good opportunity over the next four years to break the record. So, I'm, I'm, I'm bullish on him actually doing it, but I think that. I think he at least has a fighting chance now he's officially signed for five more years. So, boys, have at it. But, you know, whether he does it or not, I think he's you could view him as the greatest goal scorer that we have ever seen. Um, and kudos to him for, for having the longevity he's had. But, um, you know, I, I hope he does it, honestly, because this is the type of record that not many people live to get to see come to fruition. So I'm hoping for the great eight. Um, Anthony, did you say he's 130 goals away? Because he's 160. I might have. I might yeah, have missed. You said 130. I stepped away and I thought You're you right. said 130. Okay. okay. Yeah, he's 160. So, 60, yeah. I mean, still over five years, he'd still have to average probably about just over 30 over the five years to really get it done. Probably about 32, 33, maybe. But, um, I mean, it's possible. It, it just like I said before, with, when I was talking about the Capitals, when does he start to break down? When does he does an injury happen? Like you know, it, I, it's more than possible. I'm not saying it's not possible, and especially and, the way he plays. Yeah, especially yeah. with the way is. I mean, the one thing that I worry about is that his game has become very one dimensional over the years, where it's just power play, office. I mean, you remember how exciting he was when he first came up. Yeah. I mean, watch his highlight highlight we yeah. used to walk at his highlight video the dream on video the, the highlights yeah, in that yeah, yeah that was insane. yeah that one was the best were insane what he would do in that video you were just like he was literally probably the most exciting player i think i've ever seen until Connor mcdavid came along and i i i've never seen somebody that could hit score shoot and deke like ovechkin could to that point it was literally he reinvented the power forward. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I think it would be great for the game. And, and I say this as a total Gretzky fanboy for Alexander Ovechkin to break the record. Not only that, but could you imagine the ratings on TNT and ESPN? If he's yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. That's going to be huge for them. Huge. It would be the best thing for the sport. And you know what? I say that as someone who obviously. I'm a Gretzky fan, boy. People are going to say, you don't want to see the record broken. You know what? Part of me doesn't. Part of me doesn't. But you know what? At the end of the day, even if he doesn't break it and he gets close, 
everybody's going to consider him the greatest goal scorer of all time anyway. So what the hell does it yeah. matter? What, what does it matter? And I think Wayne would want to see it too, which was somebody mentioned it in the comments before. I'm sorry, I can't see the comment. I have to go back up and scroll back up to see it. But Gordy Howe wanted to see Wayne break the record because he knew it was what was best for the sport. Yeah. And Wayne wants to see the record broken because he knows it's what's best for the sport. Records are meant to be broken. And you know what? I hope Ovechkin does in a way. But if he doesn't and Wayne still has the record, so what? 60 NHL records. Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. I, I think he's got a few. I think he's got more than enough, and I think Wayne doesn't care. So you and know also, remember one thing, and we keep going back to this. If Wayne Gretzky never scored a goal, he's the all-time leading scorer in the sport. That's yes, even crazier. And by, by the way, 42 no points over Yarmir Yager, who played 246 more games, which is exactly three more seasons. And that's with him taking a three-year hiatus in the KHL. Yeah, I, I think I think the obvious. I think the obvious. This is obvious, but for him to break the record, like for instance, he can't have let's say a fifteen. Not that I think it would happen, right? no. but he can't have like a 15, 20 goal season right now. He's gotta. He's gotta be at that at least that thirty that thirty number to really giving himself a fighting chance. And like I said, if he were to score like 50 this year or, you know, 45, I mean, that's gravy. That just, that just lowers the number he has to score the following seasons. So, um, and just to address this comment from Anthony, by the way, Anthony, welcome to the show. I know you said you're a Panthers fan. We do talk around the league and also, uh, you could ask most Ranger fans my age. We do have an affinity for the Panthers because after all their Genesis began with John Van Beesbrook and Roger Nielsen, who uh, were not part of the Rangers' uh, Stanley Cup team in 1994, of course. Beezer, love Beezer. But, um, uh, Steve, I got yours. You were actually the first comment, if I recall correctly. But, um, I mean, Ovechkin's a one-trick pony. He's more than just a one-timer. And, by the way, even if he is just a one-trick pony, that's a fuck of a trick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, I've, I've made this joke. Mariano Rivera was like not was the least talented pitcher because he could throw one pitch. But by the way, that one pitch, and again, it's a joke, guys. I'm joking. Mariano Rivera is amazing, but he he could he could look at you and go cutter, go ahead, try to hit it. So it's just no. It, it, the, it, the the one analogy I always make for you that for you know people who love sports comedies, um, major league. With Rick Vaughn and the Terminator and Jack Parkman in the second one. Jack, you hit it, you can rename it. The old number one. That's Alexander <laughs> Ovechkin. If you can stop it, you can rename it. That's exactly what Alex Ovechkin's one timer is. It's it's probably the greatest one timer we've ever seen with all due respect to Brett Hall. But all right. Kobe was just yeah. Well, we do have um one thing just to mention with that is uh uh, we we did this before. I gotta find the the footage of us doing this. But Anthony, it's been your editorial, so start it up. What's the number Ovechkin finishes with? Say it again. What's the number Ovechkin finishes with? What'd you say? How many goals does Ovechkin have at the end? Um. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Ovi does it. He he best Gretzky by two goals, uh, eight hundred and ninety six. Wow, that's kind of close. Um, oh, and uh, by the way, before I get John's number, also people got to remember Wayne Gretzky played a year in the WHA or two years. He has over a thousand professional goals. So think about that one. Yeah, the Coliseum Wi-Fi is messing with Anthony again. Phil, what's your number on Ovechkin? Um, hmm, wow. It's tough because I'm I'm torn on as to whether he breaks it or not. But I, I just I really wonder about the decline. And like Anthony said, we don't see a 15 goal season coming out of him. That's just not happening. Anybody who thinks that, get real, please. Do us all a favor. Um. I want to say he finishes 
around eight eighty five. That's still cutting it very close. I actually think it's less than that. And I thought, <laughs> by the way, Joe, you're right. Uh, no, Chris, if he gets eight oh one, if he gets eight oh one, he needs one more because he's got to get past Al. Um, Leo says nine oh six. Brody, this is where I'm right with you. Eight sixty is my number. I think he's going to put up one hell of a fight all the way through, and uh, he just plays too hard. There's going to be a decline at some point. But, my God, that one-timer. <laughs> That's the greatest one-timer in the history of this game. Um, it's just It just is. All right. So, guys, what do you think? Um, leave us a like, of course. I keep on trying to – Put up this one of, of me actually just saying and throw it out in the comments, like, share, <laughs> and subscribe. But I forget that it doesn't go over the caption. So, oops. But uh, yeah, like and keep passing on the word about us because we are growing. We're growing because of you. And uh, again, thank you all very much. That if you like that video, we got a lot more. So, check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.